Would somebody mind explaining to me how is it that I'm getting more levels with more XP, yet I'm getting less caskets to open? I don't get how it's possible. Because surely the more XP I have, the more hand members I, I can pickpocket, the more imps I can catch, which in turn should be more clue scrolls. What is my happening, boys? I only got five this episode. Like, what's going on? I'm not going to lie to you, boys. I'm a bit ill right now. I'm a bit congested. But if you're hearing this little message, it's because in editing, I've realized how ill I sound. and I've left it in. So, you know, I probably sound a little bit different this episode, but it'll be gone by the next one. I'm just, I'm really in the mood to record. And I never like to pass up the opportunity for that. I think it's the pills I've taken. I've taken some pretty strong painkillers <laughs> about two hours ago, and I'm pretty sure they're kicking in. So if you've looked at my inventory, you might have already guessed what the first... Oh, fucking off-camera antics again. How do I keep doing this? Off-camera antics? Here we go, boys. Let's get the notes every fucking time. Ranged, attack, defense, and crafting. All done through pest control. Uh, I used the RD lamp from last episode on strength. So that's got all my combat stats now to 34, and my HP hasn't even fucking moved. By this episode, we're going to be truly even. For the first time in the whole year and a half of making this. Let's get on to plan number one. Actually, boys, before we do plan number one, I haven't done farming. Um, I did it a bit, and I've been doing it the past couple of days here and there, but I really haven't been doing it that much. I might even scatter some janitor time in the middle there, boys. I, I missed that soundtrack I was using for janitor time. So, you know what? Start that music now, boys. It's janitor time. Let's go check on these, uh, let's go check on my patches. Oh, it looks like we've grown ourselves a new patron, lads. Let's pick Stefan out of the... Out of the <laughs> this is weird. I, I had this plan to do this, and now I'm doing it. It seems weird. It seems like we're growing patrons of these patches, boys. Don't know how that's possible. Don't ask me. I don't know the logistics of it, but it's, I'm doing it. But Stefan, he, he's... Oh, he's so sexy. He's actually... He's a soaking whale, boys. But if you're interested, uh, Stefan here does a bit of streaming. Uh, I'm not sure how much, really, because I can barely keep up with my own content, never mind other people's stuff. But I do know that he streams, and the couple of streams that I have caught, he's a pretty chill dude. So I'm going to put a link for him, and if there's people out there who want more content to watch, there you go. Stefan might be able to fill a little bit of a gap for you. And trust me, he's a good-looking bloke. You definitely want him filling your gap. Trust me. Right, let's move on to the next one, boys. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to be weird or not. Oh, here we go. We've got another plump patron right here, boys. Ready to be ripped out by the roots. Now, Kiwi, he, he's, he's a sexy man as well. Another another soaking whale? Two of you is giving me £10 a month. It's just stupid. <laughs> but I love it so much. Like, you have no idea how much I appreciate it. And Kiwi is he's a very long-term friend of the account. He's been there for a long time. Oh, he's so cool, man. Kiwi, I fucking love you, mate. All of you have changed my life. Not just patrons, just people who watch it. Never thought it'd get this good, you know? Like, anyone who's even clicked the video and watched it, I owe more than I could ever give you in content. So let's plant another one down. Hopefully this will turn into another Patreon when we get back. Oh, look at this one. We got another one here, boys. This is Cuspy. Before I compliment you, I'm just going to pick you by the roots. There you go. I remember going to visit Ross when he lived over in Ireland. And um, I can't remember what episode it was. But it's when I first started the um, the clan chat. It was, this is before the Discord. Like I just started a clan chat to get to speak to people. And I remember putting the episode out and I was on the way there. And I had a few people like dot in and out, but... Cuspy was always in there, you know, always easy to speak to. And since then, an admin on my Discord, and I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And that's enough for that. You're free from me getting all emotional for a bit. But not but not for too long, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Let's get on to plan number one. We're going to be doing Mahogany Homes. And I know I'm a bit late to the party, boys. I've turned up, cake's already gone, half the people have already left. And the only people that are still there are either too drunk to go home, or they have no home, and they have nowhere else to go. What am I on about? Mahogany Homes. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> it's going to be a bitch because I have no teleports. I'm hoping they're either in Ardun or in Varrock because I can get those two places like that, mate, instant. So the reason we're doing Mahogany Homes is because we can get the uh, plank sack, which would be nice to get. And I think it's an equipable saw. We can get the carpenter outfit, which would be nice because um, we don't have to get as many planks to 99 then. Right, let's finally start Mahogany Homes. I've been looking forward to this because it, it sounds like a good idea. And to be honest, boys, I'm sick of building rocking chairs. I'm not going to lie. After about 500 of them, you're getting kind of sick of it. But let's see what the first one is. East Ardoon, going to Jess in East Ardoon. I should probably sort out my inventory because uh, I'm not gonna be able to do much with a couple of flowers, am I? <laughs> I'd like two wooden drawers built. I'd like two wooden cabinets built. Oh, all right, it's not, okay. Oh, and then she'd like a clock fixed. 
Oh, and I'd like my bath fixed. Fucking hell, Jess. We're re remodeling your entire house here, or what? I'm a basic craft worker, love. You know, you're getting the basics here. I mean, I'm going to rip this down. It's going to look terrible. Yeah, look at... <laughs> to build in a cam candelabra stand? What the fuck kind of house is this? What did you do to this bath? <laughs> now, Big Snap, tap. That tap is bigger than me. Boys, what is that bath? I could drown in that easily. It's high. It's nearly as high as I am. <laughs> that bath is comedically big. Or a bit dark. That bath. Could you not make a better bath than that, Jagex? Is that the best they could do? Is that what they're all going to look like? Jess seems happy with you. Talk to her if you're reward. Yay. <coughs> yeah, I'm definitely leaving that notice about being ill. Thank you. Ooh, 500 XP. Eh, not bad. We shouldn't have to do a couple of con... Oh, I'd love a bloody cup of love. I'm a proper workman now. Do a fucking, fucking job for you. Uh, g give us a cup of love, you schlag. Yeah, five sugars. Every workman has five sugars. We know it. Everyone knows it. Give us a contract. This is... I'm liking this. I like this a lot. Noella, Northeast East Ardoon Market. Oh, you see, We're already here, boys. Easy. Well, I don't know how I fix a mirror with no glass, but w whatever you say, boys. Fuck, I need one more plank. Fuck. Uh, sorry, love, gotta go out and get more supplies for the road. Uh, I get, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was or where I was going with that. There we go. Right, I'm tw I'm 22 XP away, which is kind of annoying me. Yeah, I'm gonna get a new contract. Well, I'm not gonna finish it. I'm just gonna fix the first thing. Jess, please tell me that your comedically sized bathtub is broke again. Yeah, it's broke again. Love, you need to calm down whatever you're doing in here. You need to stop splish splashing in that bath. Let me fix that and I'm done. 34 construction. Right, I'm sorry, Jess, but I'll be back in like a month because I'm done. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, that's step one done. So you know what that means? It's casket time. I swear we better get something good this episode. We haven't had a decent casket opening since my nan's funeral. No. No. Okay, let's open a casket. Well, I mean, charge Dragonstone jewelry. I mean, on this account, that's useless. I'm not going to use it for fucking ever. And more sweets, obviously, because you're not a nonce if you don't have a bank full of sweets, are you? So step number two, big chompy bird hunting. So this quest gives us a um, bit of cooking XP. And I've already set up the cooking so that when we do this quest, it's going to get it to the next level. Uh, it gives us a bit of XP in ranged and fletching, but that doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit. And the main reason we're doing this is because we need to do this before we can complete the Western Provinces Easy Diary. So we're literally going to be doing this, then moving straight onto the diary. Let me just set this up real quick while you listen to that sexy music. Mmm, so good and tasty. Let's go talk to Rance. He's located in the southeast of Gutanath. Don't care if I'm pronouncing shit wrong. I've stopped caring at this point, boys. Hey, you creature, make me some stabbers. I want to hunt the chompy. I like his head animation more than anything. <laughs> he looks proper British for some reason. <laughs> he looks like the typical bloke who lives around here who'd come in for a pack of 20 Rothmans. Give us a pack of 20 Rothmans, please, love. Bit of fucking all day lifting stuff at the building site. You know what I mean, love? Yeah, so he, he wants some arrows making, and I'm guessing he can't do it with his big fucking sausage fingers. That seems like a great idea. This big, massive ball dough. Let's make him someone that can stab and kill people. Making the shafts. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a shaft, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Chop down a few achy trees. Man, that tree is aching. Get him a doctor. <laughs> it's probably not even pronounced that, is it? <laughs> right, now I need to turn these into arrow shafts, I think. Use feathers to make the shafts to produce flighted arrow tips. Oh, fuck! I left the feathers at home. I mean, in the bank. <laughs> oh, this is what you get, boys, for um, being a nonce. There we go. All done. Return to Rance. Give him the arrows. He then tells you about the swamp toads that his children like to play with. Why would I want to know about your kids? Yo, I'm the last man you should be telling me about your kids, mate. I mean, fucking look at me. Look at that haircut. That says it all. But the chompy not coming without the fat sea toadies. Gotta get the fat sea toadies and get the chompies. Then we we'll put it over the sneaky, sneaky, stick the chompy. Was that good? Did you like that? All right, I've asked him everything about these fucking toads. Speak to Rant's kids. They will inform you about Rant's locked to their ogre bellows in his chest. Right, come here, kiddies. Oh, these are big, big boys, aren't they? <laughs> these are bigger than me. Am I supposed to be doing this, by the way? I feel like I'm about to hurt myself. Un oh, shit, yeah. Unsuccessful attempts will reduce your strength by one. Come on, lad. There we go. So I gotta use the f this thing on the bubbles, I remember now. And then you gotta squid it in the frogs. 
to like inflate them. It just seems mean, really. Just like <laughs> fucking toads. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking getting bigger and bigger. Poor, poor toadies. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come here, toady. The chumpy's still not coming. We need the fatsy toady to get the chumpy. Do you get it? Do you get the fatsy toady? Then we sneaky sneaky the chumpy. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I think he's supposed to miss the first one. There you go. It's a chompy bird. Shoot it. Mate, shoot it. Shoot it, perhaps. Oh, you're gonna shoot it. <laughs> oh, keep trying then. You might hit one through pure luck. Nah, come on. Come on, let, let us have a go, mate. Come on. Let's fuck it up. I look really angry behind my thing then. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me take this off a minute. Was I angry at him then? Like, come on, let's fucking give it in. Give us a go, will you? Let's have a look. <laughs> Look how angry! Come on, let me have a go! Wield the bow and arrows. When the bird appears, range it. Alright. Oh, six damage. There we go. Take that. Now what? Pluck Chompy Bird, right? Now I gotta cook it for him. Alright, let's cook. Let's cook this. Why am I so angry? Why is my guy so angry at this bloke? Oh, now I gotta talk to his kids again? Those fat little fucks. Travel to the cave and ask each of the two ogre children what they want the Chompy seasoned with. He wants equi leaves. Okay, we got equi leaves, tomatoes, right? Right now, what do I do? I got you tomato. For some reason, there's just a tomato in a bar stool. I don't know why. <laughs> why are you keeping tomatoes on bar stools, you weirdos? Oh, there's supposed to be three ingredients. Shit. Rance, what do you need me to get, you baldo? He wants onion. Of course you do. E. Right, I'm getting punched by a level 53 here, lads. E. Run. No, don't go that way. This is towards more of them. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. There's wolves and there's... Uh, I really should have just brought some food. That probably would have been easier, right? Yee. <laughs> there we go. That's why if that would have burnt, I would have just cried. <laughs> uh, present Rance with a delicious seasoned cooked chompy bird. Oh, here you go. Here's your cooked chompy bird. And I can see even behind my adamant full helm that I am pure angry. Hey, hey, we got the delicious chompy bird, yay. This looks real tasty. There we go, boys. And we just got, if I click off this, because you don't need to see that, just got 34 cooking. What does that entail, you might be asking? Well, I already know, but I'm gonna let you know. Okay, so we've got garden pies and wizard mind bombs. It's a double feature, boys. <laughs> Let's get to it. Hello and welcome to Evenly Girl 3, the first episode that we're actually going to be using the oven. And I'd like to welcome my guest host, Ross 2.0, who is like Ross, only better because he doesn't give me any lip and he turns up when I need him. <laughs> Sounds really depressing. Ross is working and also um, we're kind of in lockdown, so you're going to have to deal with this little cunt for a bit. Is that right, Ross? Coronavirus is making me go a bit mental, I'm not gonna lie. So today, we're gonna be making a garden pie. I'm gonna pop it up somewhere, I think. Maybe here, I don't know. Garden pie! It's gonna boost my farming level, apparently. I mean, I doubt it, it's gonna take a fucking while. I don't know how to make a pie. Uh, I was kinda hoping that the chef of the channel, you know, the Ross actual chef of 14 years, uh, was gonna help me. But, uh, life. We're also gonna be doing wizard mind bombs. It's a double feature, like I said. Uh, wizard mind bomb is just sparkling water and warm water. It says it here. Uh, it's nothing special, so don't worry about it. It's nothing... I don't have to fucking get barley and hops and put them in a thing and then let them stew. I don't... I do make beer, I don't know. So, cut to the cutting... I'm gonna... I'm gonna settle this up. Cut to the cutting angle. I've got different angles now. I've got better equipment, boys. Thank, thanks to the patrons, by the way. They're all here. Thanks to the patrons. I cashed out my money after two months and I've got myself a nice iPad stand and even a way to record my Blue Yeti to my phone. I'm gonna set everything up, cut to the cutting angle. So we're gonna start out by, it's already pre-rolled. How big do I need this? It needs to fit like the whole thing and then around a bit, but that's not gonna work. I don't think this is enough. <laughs> I can't measure it, can I? I've got, can I use a tape measure, is that allowed? If I do it up to the, I'm not gonna have enough for the top. <laughs> I'm gonna use Stacy's bread dish. That's a little bit better. Okay. 
Let's just cut it and just hope for the best, boys. I've got it all. What do I do? Kind of gonna flop it in there, I think. I know anyone who's cooked anything ever is gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? You absolute idiot. Put a bit there. Oh, there we go. We're getting a good base here, boys. Look at that. We've done step zero, make the actual pie dish. <laughs> okay, so we've made the pie dish. Step two, I think, was tomatoes, right? I've always thought gravy was in pies. I'm not sure if I'm wrong. So I'm gonna mush these up. I'm just gonna cut the tops off. Let me just cut them. Let's get over there. Nobody likes the green, that like green bit on the top, do they? That's, yeah. Pip, don't come in here just because you've heard food. You're not having a tomato. On the picture, it just shows a full tomato in there, but who the fuck's gonna throw a full tomato with a leaf and everything? So I'm gonna try to aim this a bit towards you here. You see how, you see how I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna squash. I don't know why I'm squashing them. <laughs> But I want to s they won't squash. Maybe I should have- Cooking like a pro! Now, I'm not sure about you, but I don't know what to do with this cabbage. Do you use the top leaves, or is it kind of like lettuce? You kind of like, the top leaves are a bit meh. Cabbage! Oh, look at that. Fine cabbage there, boys. I can already feel my farming level increasing. That's how good this is. So I'm just gonna chuck that in there. Mmm! Let's mix it up a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the good stuff right there. There you go. Now, for the onions. Do you hold your breath to cut onions, or do you breathe outwards? How would breathe just outwards work? I don't know. Let's just... I mean, I don't care too much. All right, boys. Look at that. Ready for Sunday dinner, boys. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfecto. And just because to show you I know what I'm doing, squish down these side bits. That, I'm not sure I'm doing that right. <laughs> Garden pie! What do you think, Ross? Shut up, you can't talk. So now, we pop it in the oven, I think. I'm gonna burn my house down. I can feel it. So I'm gonna leave that for 20 minutes. Now, while we're cooking that, let's transition over to a bit of a... Let's make a wizard mind bomb. The pie looks bad, by the way. It's sinking. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to sink. So, wizard mind bomb. Um, according to the RuneScape wiki, tastes like warm, fizzy water. Water. Tastes like warm, fizzy water. So, I boiled some water and got some sparkling water. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some to this. This is room temp. I haven't put it in the fridge. I don't know why, why do you care? Yeah, it's still a bit too warm. There we go. I already know what this is going to taste like. Fizzy, sparkling water that just tastes like TV static. So, why not smell it? Mmm, yeah, that's- oh, that is some good water right there. Gonna try some? Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> I think I fully snapped, man. Let me show what. Mmm. Oh, it's just- it's just warm, fizzy water, mate. That's it. Why did you make me do this? Going down the drain, I'm not drinking that. <laughs> I tried it, I didn't like it. Why can't there be something like a fucking nice? Why is nothing nice? Why can't we make something nice? <laughs> it's, it's all disgusting. Fucking vegetable pies and warm fizzy water. What's next? I think a veg ball is next. A fucking veg ball. What's a veg ball, Ross? It's just gonna be a ball of vegetables. <laughs> Why can't we have some chocolate cake? Come on, how long till chocolate cake? How long till normal cake? Have I already missed normal cake? I think I did, right? No, I've still got a while yet. Let's get the table nice and ready for some disgusting vegetable pie. Even the dog won't fucking eat it. Imagine someone walks in now. Explain that. Oh, what if someone knocks on the door and they need to come check the, the boiler? <laughs> Don't leave it here like that. So sorry, I was having a meal. <laughs> We're a fucking stuffed monkey. The food will be ready when it's ready. Where is it? Go get it. Where is it? Go get it. There you go. I'm gonna give it in. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to pour you a drink, Ross. No, no, it's okay. Let me give you your favorite. 
Plain sparkling water. Ah. And then I said, that's no camel, that's my wife. You're getting fucking hair everywhere, by the way. I don't know how, you're not, you're not even alive. <laughs> Yet your hair is everywhere. Don't fill up on drinks, because the pie is almost ready. I'd say that's dumb enough for a pie that we're not going to eat, right? <laughs> what did I say? Don't fill up on drink and you're already- You're fucking necked off of it! What are you doing? Idiots! Just like Ross would do! Bon appetit! Look at that scrumptious pie! I mean it smells nice, but then again it just smells like nice cooked pastry, so... Do you scoop pies out with these? This looks like a good pie scooper. Mmm mmm! Delicious garden pie! I'll give you, oh, a big chunky inner piece. Oh God, it's so wet. Oh, sorry. Bon appetit. Let's get a bit of everything right. Stab through that, get some pastry on there. What do you mean it's inedible? It's a bit, a bit hot. Definitely not just procrastinating. Very moist, very cabbagey. Mmm. So good, I'm gonna save it till later. Oh god. Why is it so wet? I would definitely bring in that round for dinner. Where am I going for dinner? I don't know. On a serious note, that's fucking vile. Uh, got a feeling I did it wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have squashed the tomatoes, maybe? I don't know, I don't cook. You were supposed to help me, Ross. You're the chef. <laughs> Eat. Right, my children. Um, that's weird. <laughs> don't say, don't say that again. <laughs> the plan was to do the Western Provinces diary, but that's been scrapped because I don't have an ogre combo, and I don't have to get shitloads of arrows either. So, um, until we do Zoga flesh eaters, we're flushing that one down the toilet, and we're actually going to move on to the Varrock easy diaries. Either way, we're still going to be doing a diary because these look super easy and I'm not in the mood. I'm, I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> right, the first one I haven't done is mine some iron in the southeast mining patch near Varrock. How have I not done that yet? That seems nearly impossible that I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I feel like it's sacrilege not getting iron ore from this place until 33 everything. There we go. What's next on the list? Make a normal plank at the sawmill. Easy peasy, my boy. Yay! Yeah, uh, that tree is definitely dying. You just want to get cut down, don't you? Here you go. Buy a newspaper! Shit, boys. Buy the, the Varrock Herald. 50 coins for a newspaper? Shit. Cheers, mate. Drop that on the floor. <laughs> right, steal some tea, because that's really close to here, right? There we go. Oh, I could speak to he Halen. Oh, shit, I've got 28 kudos. Fuck. <laughs> ah, Historian Minus. Okay. Right, hopefully this guy will just give me a shitload from quests. There we go, got some information for you, pal! What? Oh, we've... <laughs> we smashed it, we're still gaining them! 58 kudos, right. I I've done it. That's it, sorted. Dog! Bone! Don't bury them. There you go, doggy. Jump over the fence south of Varrock. There's a fence south of Varrock? Oh, sh whoa! Alright! Did a proper running jump then. Spin a bowl on the pottery wheel in Barbarian Village. Whoa, when did that happen? We'll just, we'll just keep them. Was that from handing in stuff from Quest? I think it is, right? There we go. We now have a fresh warm bowl straight out of the oven, boys. I think that leaves us with, what, one left? Crafted some earth runes. Bang. All done. Congratulations. We get a 10% chance of mining two ores. We get a 10% chance of smelting two bars. We get an anti-lamp to add to the collection of lamps in my inventory now. We can get battle staffs from Zack and more charges on the skull scepter, which I'm never going to use. There we go. Bit of Varrock armor. It looks terrible. I do look sexy, though, actually. I'm not going to lie. It shows more skin. And, you know, if there's one thing about my character, it needs to show more skin. 
Right, that's the most exciting part, actually. We, we get to open a casket. And I can't remember, did I open one after that quest? I don't think I did, did I? No, I've still got four caskets left. So we can open two. It's a, do it's a double feature, boys. Meh. Oh, come on. I ain't had a good one for so long. So, step number four, fishing contest. Now, the reason we're doing this is it actually... I can't remember. <laughs> Let me get the quest up. Yes, this quest gives us a big chunk of fishing XP. Uh, well, that'll get me to 34, but the main reason we're doing it is one of the many prerequisite quests for Recipe for Disaster. As soon as we've done this, we can do another one. We can do the... Yeah, we can do Freeing of the Mountain Dwarf. It's literally the first one on the list of quests for Recipe for Disaster. God, it's so expensive to charter ships. That's where like 90% of my money's gonna be going. Getting fucking ships to Cathabay. <laughs> wow, that's one angry ass dwarf. Why am I asking him? <laughs> Ask if you could become friends. I don't, well, don't want to become friends with this fucking dwarf. All right, so if I attempt to walk down, he's gonna block me, right? How would you like it if I wanted to take a shortcut through your home? I won't, won't really mind. If you were my friend, I wouldn't mind. This is so playing mind games with this fucking dwarf. Yeah, but I don't even know you. Well, well, let's be friends. My guy is full on. Look at that, look at them eyes, he's psycho, man. I don't make friends easily. People need to earn my trust first. Oh, I'm sure my guy will find a way. You're a grumpy little man, aren't you? <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to do that? My, we are persistent one, aren't we? You have no idea, mate. Have you seen? Have you seen these muscles? Have you seen my arms? I will grip your little neck so hard you won't know what hit you, mate. <laughs> well, there's a certain gold artifact we're after. We dwarves are big fans of gold. Oh, yeah. We gotta win the fishing contest, become his friend, so I can take a shortcut. Is that it? Okay. Is that it? Now we just we just go f fish, right? <laughs> Stop at Sears Village. Piece, pick up a piece of garlic in the house southwest of the bank. Okay. Excuse me, pal. You don't mind me just taking this garlic, do you? Who are you? Get out of my house! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking that. See you in a bit, mate. I'll close the door on the way out. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Start heading west towards the north of Magruba Woods. Enter Magruba Woods. Why? Why am I going into Magruba Woods? I need to get some worms. What? Apparently, some red vine worms. Okay. I was going to get a bunch of them, just in case. You know, I don't have to come back. Do I, do I, or do I not look like a man who is ready to fish? I really don't. I'm carrying a book and I'm wearing a vest. <laughs> right, we're in, boys. We're in. Um, <laughs> we're fishing against Dracula and Big Dave. Fucking Big Dave, lad. You fucking what? Please tell me I have to fight Big Dave. There's nothing I want to do more than punch Big Dave in his fucking head. Right, as an unrelated side note, um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that I've severely overestimated the amount of XP that marigolds are gonna give me because I am nowhere near done so at, at the end I may have to use one of these lamps I mean I've got lamps for days so I'm not worrying too much put the garlic into the pipes on the south wall of the north building yeah this garlic's definitely gonna fuck up this vampire <laughs> am I really sabotaging this <laughs> am, I, am I pure evil pay bonzo the contest fee <laughs> who the fuck is bonzo here he is okay we got all the fishermen it's time to roll. You fish at the spot by the willow tree, and the sinister stranger, you fish by the pipes. Fish at the spot by the pipes. Oh, wait, so what? I thought I'm supposed to be going to the, the willow tree. <laughs> but I'm straight up just gonna steal this guy's spot. Oh, wait, no, he's gonna complain about the smell, right? Oh, yeah, okay, I thought I was just basically stealing his spot. Mate, you're a vampire, you should know the smell of fucking garlic by now. Right, I'll go over here. Smells bloody delicious over here. Boy, smells like a bloody freshly baked garlic bread. And then I just wink at him. Mmm, <laughs> freshly baked garlic bread. Oh, I love it. Fish at the spot by the pipes using the red vine worms. Alright. You'll catch a giant carp. Oh, I need a rod. Where do I get the rod? Go talk to Grandpa Jack, who lives in the house nearby in the... No oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. You hand over your catch. We have a winner. Oh my god. The heroic looking person who is fighting by the pipes. Fishing by the pipes. Not fighting. I'm not fighting, boys. I promise. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. I got the trophy, boys. I'd like to thank my mum. Congratulations. Now turn to go make friends with this fucking dwarf. Have you won yet? Yes, I have. Well done. That's brilliant. Do you have the trophy with you? Yep, I have it right here. Bash over the head. Kill him. E even better. I should have just killed him from the start. Oh, he's even more shiny and gold than I thought possible. Ah, oh, mate, don't fucking come all over it, yeah? Yay, 34 fishing! I can now wear the angler's outfit. But yeah, let's go open a casket, boys. 
Give me one good one. Oh, fuck's sake. Add the trouts to the collection. How many have we got now? That is 25 trouts. 100% of which are from Clue Squirrels. Because <laughs> I've never fished trout in my whole fucking life. Apart from to do Charlie the Tramp's stupid thing. The last step, as usual, is to just finish up the skills I didn't do off camera. And I saved the XP tomes and stuff. But before that happens, we got a couple of uh, farming patches to go check on, haven't we? Try and get this farming. That's one of the last ones. Whoa, would would you look at that, boys? That's this is Relechian, absolute legend. Let, let me just pick you out of the ground there, Relechian, my good man. Relechian's been subscribed for as long as I can nearly remember. This guy's been, it says a year on YouTube, which is, you know, that's as close as it can get, but I'm pretty sure it's been since it's nearly the start of this series. This guy has helped me countless times. He's had a, a couple of mentions through the videos, but now you're gonna get a proper thank you, mate, so. Thanks, mate. Cheers, seriously. I wouldn't be here without you, my friend. And let's hope that this patch maybe grows into another Patreon. Who knows? I've, I've, I think I've got enough. I've got way more than I deserve at this point, so. <laughs> oh, there's another one. It's fucking King Frederick. Uh, I, I just want to say, King Frederick, I know you've been asking for a long time for a hunter montage, and I'm hoping that that little bit at the beginning, when I was catching the imp with the subtitle over the top, I hope that'll satiate you for a little bit until I get a proper one sorted. It probably won't, because I've been promising you for a few months now, and I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe you're giving me money. It's it's stupid. You're a stupid man. <laughs> but I love you. Cheers, man. Oh, here we go. Uh, last and certainly least. <laughs> I mean, I've thought of that all the whole walk here. <laughs> uh, how do I even have patrons at this point? <laughs> I just bully you all. Uh, but last and certainly not least, we have Pryor. And I, can I say Pryor? Your laugh? Magnificent, mate. Absolute treasure. Don't ever change. So that that's all you lot done. Thank you, all, all the existing patrons. Thank you. You'll all you've all got and you've all earned your space on the patron wall at the end. Uh, what am I doing now? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, I grossly overestimated the amount of XP Marigold's gonna give me. I don't know why I thought doing two farming trips to get that up. But first, I've got a little cheeky surprise for you boys. Oh, this is gonna get your taints nice and moist in a very sexual way. Is there any other way to get your taint moist? I don't know. You, you could piss yourself. But then again, someone will find that attractive, won't they? Oh, boys, I knew you missed it. Look at the fucking gloves. He's got range of the 12 of the cunts. Oh, he was right. Oh, so, I can't remember who told me. Someone told me that the cleaning gloves now is automatic on RuneScape. And, oh, it doesn't get old, does it? I mean, how many episodes are we in now? This doesn't get old, at least for me. I mean, it might get old for you, but I don't care. It's my content, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking clean them, you dirty bitch. <sighs> so I was just stretched. That wasn't excitement. It was, it was a little bit of excitement. I was watching it while I was stretching. Probably a bad move. I was snapping my spine doing that. <laughs> Stretch backwards with excitement and just... <laughs> spine's gone. <laughs> Flopping it off. So worth it. Oh yeah, there we go. 2,129 guams. Uh, these these guams just aren't going down, are they? <laughs> if anything, they're going up. Eyes of newts in there, you dirty boy. You filthy little guam cleaner. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that? You, you, you like that, don't you? There it is, boys. 34 herblaw. Uh, we can now make agility potions. Probably never going to make them. And we've still got over 2k guams at the bank. It just doesn't get better than that, does it? Let's put a tome into Slayer and a tome into Fire Making. Let's try the Fire Making one first. Ooh. I need one more tome of Fire for that. Wait, I'm going to use the Slayer one first. I'm always scared to overlevel for some reason. There we go. Just got 34 Slayer. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. There we go. We're halfway through level 34. All right, we got 34 Fire Making as well. Um, I think the only one left now is farming, so... Uh, so the yellow one was from the Varrock Diaries, right? So it's pretty it's pretty safe to use that. Oh, we're like 65% for the next level, but we got it! 34 farming. That's all of them, boys. And now we open a casket, and it's gonna be a good one because it's the last one. Uh, a couple of pages, I mean, could be worse. But I want nice cheeky cosmetics, boys, not gonna lie. But, you know, I'm not too salty, because now, boys, we are purely even, like, for the first time ever. I'm gonna get my prayer up real quick, because I don't like the fact that that's, you know, that's down. I'm just gonna put these in there. For the first time in the history of this account, we are purely even, boys, so... I was gonna say congratulations to you, but I'm just gonna congratulate myself. Congratulations, Jack. Might have took you a long time, but you got there in the end, mate. 
Because it's purely even in the fact that it doesn't break any rules. But I kind of want it all the, at the exact same level. That would be even better. But this feels great. This feels just as good. So cue, cue the outro. I'm done. Next one. E purely even part two. <laughs> Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Is that all you got?